Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to WhatMap, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bombi and you're very, very welcome. Right, it's Saturday and Saturday is a bit of a luxury day for me when it comes to map reviews. It means I can review a map which wouldn't normally be seen on the show. Maybe it's a bit quirky, a bit out there, fantastical or artistic. Something out about the map normally means that it just wouldn't fit in with a normal show. Or it's a bit different or not wanting to playable, you know, that sort of map. Today, Saturday, is a luxury day for me because this is exactly the sort of map that I would want to play. And regardless of what ratings I give it at the end of the show, and I already know what ratings this map's going to get, regardless of those ratings, this, if I was building cities regularly, would be on my must-play list. It's a personal up. It does have a few minor problems. One of the problems I think actually benefits the map. We'll get to that later. But first of all, let's get to Bonbon Bingo. Grab your bingo card. Link is in the description. Check off any memes as we go along. And of course, there's always time for a daily reminder. That's right, clicking that like button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people, and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support. Today's map is Chubba Peninsula by Vivid Swing. Okay, Vivid Swing. First time on the channel, this isn't their first map. I think it's map number three. Uh, there's your start square. That looks very playable. Again, lots of good things to talk about today's map. Lots of good things. They kept it simple, sort of. Terrain heights, room to build a big city on one side of the mountain ridge and a medium-sized city on the other side. Definitely works. And resources are usable. Not necessarily the strongest, used for detailing, but are definitely usable. If you've got Santa Harbour and you want to do some fishing, there's your fishing map. It's not the most exciting. And it could be more so on an island map. But hey, what can we have? Off to the workshop. What do we need? Well, it's a mass transit map. You will need mass transit for this one. And there is a list of 14 things to subscribe to. We'll be using the Laviante 2.0 theme and the Relight 2 Natural LUT. A uh, nicely written description that covers everything very nicely indeed. Now, we have this one-click As you see, we have everything subscribed in this one-click collection. Just remember that I have subscribed to everything in the one-click collection because this is very important about today's map. So I've had a look at the screenshots and I've read the description. 230,000 trees, apparently. You'll notice the whole map seems a bit sparse for trees. And that's because there's about 60,000 trees, by my reckoning which is 170,000 trees short of what they think there is, which means that I feel that there's probably, probably some trees missing. <laughs> Almost definitely some trees missing. So maybe there's a missing uh, item off the requirements list out of the one click collection. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to panic mode about it. I'm not even checking the loading screen because actually I think this benefits the map. Whether it would be better 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 for having even more trees on it i don't know but for that blank canvas to work on i think the map has got just about the right amount of trees on it as it stands here and leaving you well using only 60,000 trees is going to be really good on the light processor so if you've got a, a donkey of a potato or a computer oh hang on hang on now look at some look at the right hand edge here of the highway got a, a bush there and a bush directly ahead on the right there i was going to i was tempted to include a little video clip of captain america showing on your right uh decided against it in the end another one another tree just encroaching on the right hand edge but only just i think this is because and uh, it's total speculation but i think i'm right <laughs> i like to think i'm right all the time uh again on the right hand edge here and here as well I think that the trees were done in the game engine and then transferred over using the move it export function, another one on the right hand edge here, which is why, although the road has very clearly been cleared, the highway route has been very clearly cleared of trees, they, um, I don't think it's been pasted down, imported down in exactly, exactly the right location, very close to, and 
not so much that it's going to cause you huge trouble uh, especially with the tree the map being so light on trees there are very few trees that could possibly encroach onto the road anyway so there's nothing really that's going to break your map too much here by having one or two trees tucked under the highway again they're only showing through because of my anarchy settings which is something that uh that we've discussed many times on the show and i'm gonna skip over it today i'll discuss it more fully maybe next time for the it's always somebody's first show and so if this is your first show and you're wondering why what um, watch some previous shows or just keep watching and i'll talk about it next time can't talk about the same thing over and over again but it's always on the right hand side of the highway so i, I was slight glitching through of the rock on the left there which may be more central if the whole road was shunted a little bit to uh, the side, it's possible. So I, yeah, I reckon this map was built in the uh, in the map editor, and uh, then the detailing was done in the game engine, and then uh, that was exported across. I would say the rail. There are a few more tree issues on the rail, not too many though, but uh, there are a few to look out for. And speaking out for looking out for things, here's something that I've been meaning to share a link to for a long time. In fact, the link is in the description today. You've seen Random Fives out of context videos about me. Well, I have got some beautiful trailers. Again, you bomb bomb buddies are absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm, 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 you know, I'm not even gonna sell it. I'm not even gonna talk about it. I'm not even gonna, you know, I'm not even gonna name shout this time. I'm just gonna say, click the link in the description to the two trailers. I'll highlight it with big asterisks and whatever. Um, <laughs> just go and watch those trailers. They're brilliant. They are absolutely brilliant. And uh, just the creativity of you guys, I absolutely adore. I've, I've had the link to these trailers for about three weeks now. I keep trying to find... Re well, when should I put this in? Sometimes I just forget and sometimes there's just no room in the show sometimes i've been overrunning on the show and i've been too busy it's like the encroaching there again i think it's the same same issue here with the trees but yes um but yes click the link go watch like the videos up share with your friends share with everybody basically um and the same with and the same with or anything that i share from you guys uh please please just appreciate the uh, i love the humor uh, you know me, I like to laugh at the world, at the maps, at myself. It's If you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? Huh? I'm laughing at you now, very quietly. Anyway, um, so anyway, the, the trees, yes, the trees. Look at look at trees. If, if, if I didn't tell you there were trees missing, this would look okay, wouldn't it? You might say, oh, I'd like a bit more density in the forests. Well, that's what's missing. But again, having... The ability to what we have what we have here is very good having the ability to flush it out to make it bulkier uh, to the weight of our machines i think this works this is a beautiful map for building on and it's it's got some great assets on it and those with a potato of a computer are probably going to be very happy with it too i think it's it's, it's a triple win couple of missing uh, catenary portals there i don't know why that is um i don't know no, i haven't got a clue i haven't got a clue um i'm not going to break a sweat over it um the ratings will reflect this at the end but again remember whatever ratings i give this one uh we'll just throw them straight out because i'm playing on this map i am in my head i am i don't have time to but in my head i am definitely uh, yes, oh, well, we'll be heading off towards the edge of the map in a moment. When we do that, we'll take the uh, intermission, come back, check for the shipping, check for the water flow. I'll show you a few notable areas on the map, as always, skipping from location to location. And, uh, yeah, I, I just really like this map. <laughs> it's kind of like an island map, but with a connection, which is a peninsula, really, isn't it, I would say. Edge of map, here we go. <laughs> Do you have trouble building on steep hills? Do your buildings continually glitch into or out of the ground? Then you need the Beginner's Guide to Building on Steep Hills by Bon Bon B. Click the information button now. And we are back to Chubba Peninsula by Vivid Swing. And the shipping routes. Ah, up and rolling. Editing again. Do you know what? I am really struggling at the moment with everything. Just with everything. Um, so I don't. 
<laughs> so many, so many editing problems. It'll be fine. It will be fine, says he, taking on more tutorials and stuff. Uh, just, to, yeah, hopefully, I haven't even started making it yet. Hopefully, there's going to be a brand new must see, and I mean must see tutorial on Sunday. Be there or be somewhere else. You, you, you've got to see it, really. You have to. Uh, especially if you play with mods. If you're a vanilla player, then you're going to be okay. You'll be fine. Trust me, you'll be fine. Uh, there you go. Shipping routes with a nice little shipping triangle right in the middle there. Very nice. Waterflow, if anything, in terms of playability, I'd like to see a little more oomph with the waterflow in the start square. The rivers are very nice. I love the rivers but they don't carry much impact, which means out here in, in the bay, you kind of need a water drain point to get the water moving so that you can pump sewage into the, uh, into the bay there and it gets sucked somewhere. That's my only grumble. In fact, the biggest grumble with the whole map, really, is that. Right, so the map. I just love this. I love the mountain ridge. I, lo I love the shape of the map. I don't know where it's come from. Um, it kind of feels like it should be a real life location but it also looks like it isn't and so oh, I love little lakes in the mountains as well very safe again, very sparsely detailed with trees but it feels like the right amount of sparseness it, it it's just very cleverly done very cleverly done considering there's like 170 000. it's the right 170,000 trees that are missing that's what point I'm trying to make uh, we've got headland there the beach on the island there is a little bit sloped just a little bit sloped could be um could be worked a bit more but still not bad uh and then we've got a buildable area over here as well um a bit too big for a bonbon island i feel says the guy who made the giant bonbon island um right so yes shall we do some jumping about i think we should down here in terms of detail uh this is like the detailed area it's a beautiful uh, central lighthouse ah isn't she lovely and very nice the look at the rock work around that peninsula that is very nice indeed liking that we've got more stuff to look at the rivers um they are they are piddly rivers and that's fine i don't mind piddly rivers but this one is a bit too piddly it's struggling too much and so let's see a little bit more work done to that river uh the water spawn is out of the trolls cave oh, bless you um, then we've got another little river here and this one over here I want to show you because this is rocking and holding without rocking and holing Okay, you can check that one off. I did say it um, We have rocks with holes in but they're not rocks with holes in It's It's all, all in the detailing and very well done indeed. I really do like that What more have we got on the map? We've got ah this pass over here now this pass over here I was very tempted to actually do the asset of the day up here as you'll see when we get to it We've got um, this rock face. It's very nicely done. And uh, there's always a risk of a rock fall coming down in real life, of course, not in the game, onto the road there. And so we had to have some um, non-terrain conforming grasses that are floating a little bit. But you've got to get down quite low to notice that one. But yes, um, we have got, um, we've got a nice area over here for detail work. And um, I quite appreciate that, the way that it's been drawn through the mountains and kept looking realistic. Uh, this wetland area we have got we have got quite a few grasses now the grasses that are being drowned here they can add to wetland area don't, don't get me wrong but they do feel very spammed here now it might be spammed because of grasses and stuff that are missing not possibly and so the missing trees might actually be negatively impacting this area because at the moment it just looks um with the the trees and the grasses in the water just feel spammed and um, I'm sure they're not meant to be. Or maybe it's just the way they, they um, move it, plop them down, plop them down in the wrong location. Anyway, um, back to Start Square, which means we have the asset of the day. It's the Open Cut Tunnel by Yao. Okay, Yao. Uh, yeah, this, this is uh, what you put on the side of a, well, where there's possibility of a rock fall. Effective, effectively, a man-made tunnel to prevent rocks from falling onto the road. And factoids, because factoids, as we are on Chubba Peninsula, a Chubba is a long sheepskin coat made of thick Tibetan wool worn by many of the nomadic peoples of the high altitude in the cold, cold mountains of Tibet. Uh, it's a warm ankle length robe, which is bound around the waist by a long sash. 
its upper portion becomes a large pocket for everything from money to bowls. And when they say bowls, I'm guessing they don't mean like crown green bowls. <laughs> Ten pin bowling bowls. I reckon we're talking about um, bowls for eating of rice. And I'm being very generic there. I'm sure they eat more than just rice in Tibet. Like Yeti toenail clippings and things like that. Anyway, open cut tunnel by Yao. That's very nice and very usable on the right map. Very good. And that is it. What do you think of the map? I like it. I really, 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 really like it. Spindly. Very nice. Uh, but what do you think of it? Is it a one-star map? Is it a five-star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewer's choice top ten. Will this be one of the top ten maps of the month? Only you can decide. Hit the I button now in the top right corner of your screen or the link in the description. It'll take you to the voting page where you can vote for free with a Facebook, Gmail, Apple or a Patreon account. But all that said and done, what do I think of today's map? Well, aesthetically, it hits the spot for me. Now, I know it could be far more so, especially with all the missing trees, and it's not being seen as it was intended to be seen. But I think the map design, which is a part of the aesthetics, is a winner. And the theme and luck combo are a winner. And there's nothing really unattractive about it to bring it down. I was bordering around high three to low four, but I think we'll nudge it into low four. Very low four. Detailing. It, there's nothing much wrong with it, but there's um, a few trees on the road and there's not really enough on it to bring it up to a strongish four stars. So the trees under the road and obviously masses of missing trees probably uh, will bring us down to a high three. Gameplay, look, I've told Joe I'm very happy to play this one. I can see the water flow issue for some and a few would like more road connections, but low four because it's playable and I want to play it. And because I want to play it and I approve of it, I think we need to give it a Bomb Bomb B seed of approval. It seems only right. Jump a peninsula by a vivid swing. And that for me is a map that possibly, and I don't know because I've not seen it, possibly would be less good with the trees that are missing. Or it might be better, possibly. But I like what I see there and I'm happy. And I'm happy. Now, we're getting towards the end of the show, so let's me begin the close down. And if you are still here, you're part of the 20 and out elite. Use the word of the day in the comments to score some population points just for fun. And I'll be back with another map in the What Map series on Monday, the chart show tomorrow, and hopefully a tutorial. <laughs>